Okay, so now we're back with Jessica, and you have gotten all the color together, right? Yep, I've got everything mixed up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and um, put a dark, little darker color on her roots, gray coverage, and then I'm going to go through and put highlights and lowlights in, like we had talked about. So tell us, what are highlights and lowlights? What are you talking about when you mention that? So highlights are what, what causes her to be blonde. It removes the color from the hair. Um, and then low lights is just, it will be more of this darker color pulled through. Okay. So there'll be different shades, which is actually a natural thing. Cause nobody's hair is all the same color, right? right? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So it's kind of a natural look. Yes. Um, and how long does it take for this procedure normally? on this uh, um, hair? I'd say for her hair, maybe an hour, hour and a half, not too, too long. She has short hair, so that makes things a little easier. Okay. And then do you cut after you do? Yes. So hair? after um, her color processes, I'll shampoo her, and when we come back to the chair, um, she'll have wet hair, so it'll be easier for me to cut, and then we'll style her out. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to see how the process goes. Okay, and while Jessica is working on the hair, we have Robin here working on the nails. Yes, um, it just makes the process go a little faster so that you don't have to be in the salon the entire day. Okay. So for the manicure part, you're saying that's normally a 45 minute procedure? Uh, between 45 minutes to an hour, it just kind of depends yeah. on the nails that we're working with. Okay, very good. Now, you said you got started. How do you, what did you do to start here for the minute? Well, first it starts by spraying alcohol, which just kind of gives you a clean surface. And then we, I use cuticle softener to help just move all the dead skin off the nails and just clean them up. And now you get to push back the... Yes, push back the cuticles and get them ready for the actual polish. Okay, fantastic. And we decided on what kind of polish again? Um, it is... Bare Chemis by C&D Shellac. It is just a basic nude that it it goes very well with her skin tone. Good. And was it a gel, did you say? Yes, it is a gel polish. So once we put it under the light, she'll be ready to walk out and don't have, don't have to worry about it drying or messing it up. Okay, so that's the benefit of having a gel. Yes. It lasts longer and it's harder. Yes. Right. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Brenda, you have people working all over you. How's yes. it feel? <laughs> Pretty good. good. <laughs> you like it, huh? Yes. <laughs> it's relaxing. It's nice to be pampered and relaxing them every mm. once in a while. Mm. Yes. And let them do all the work, right? That's right. So, Jessica, if somebody mm. wanted to come in and get some treatments of their own, mm. do they have to make an appointment? Or can you walk in? How's that work here? Yep. Um, they could call the salon to make an appointment. They could also contact me on Facebook or my phone number is available on Facebook as well. Okay. And what is the phone number for them to call? Um, it's 502-203-2177. Okay. And ask for Jessica McKay and get scheduled. Because after you see what she's done here, you're going to want to get, you're going to be really busy. That's good. Now, how about over here? Uh, do you, you take walk-ins or schedule for appointments? Um, if I'm available, I do take the walk-ins. Mm -hmm. um, usually it's best to give me a call or even text. Uh, my phone number is 270-576-3053. I still have the glass phone number. <laughs> okay, great. And that's for manicure and pedicures, right? Yes. Any other procedures that you provide here? Um, I also do acrylic and even the dip powder nails. Okay. So many options. And she have you gives ever had a that? really good put rub when she does pedicures. <laughs> oh, well, something to look forward to. Yes, yes. <laughs> Perk of having co workers that can do it. Absolutely. And that's all here at Shun Salon, right on North 4th Street in Bardstown. So now I'm putting in her highlights and lowlights just okay. to kind of give her some dimension in her hair. So you're separating them yes. with the foil. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. And over here, have a contraption that our hands in. Tell us a little about this. This is the LED light. This actually cures and hardens the poly the gel polish. Okay. So you've polished all of our nails. Or well, just the one do it one at a time? Well I'm gonna, yeah, I did all five of these nails mm -hmm. with the base coat. Okay. And that just helps them stick to the actual nail. And then it goes two coats of the color. And then we put on a top coat and it gets cured between each layer and then wipe off a sticky layer and it's done. So when you were doing the testing of the color, 
I know Brenda was kind of surprised because you just like wiped off the gel and she's like, that's not how it normally works, right? <laughs> right, <Brenda? laughs> right, right. So that's a little different. So the, this color doesn't actually stick until it's exactly. the light. Is that right? Um, okay. It, is st it will stay liquid and until it hits the light. Okay. So it, if you have it on your hand, nail, anything, it'll just wipe right off. Okay. Very cool. So now you're actually going to put the color on. Yes. This is the putting the actual color on. And with most gels, it's two thin coats, and then you top it with that clear top coat. Okay, very good. So when you're deciding on the colors to use, how do you determine which ones are the best colors for the client? Um, well, I looked at what her natural color, I mean, what her natural color was, what she already had on her hair, and what her skin tone is, mm -hmm. and um, try to match up. I obviously wouldn't want to make her platinum, because platinum is not really her color. <laughs> <laughs> and um, um, I want to keep it as natural looking as possible. You know, she she doesn't want anything that's high maintenance or mm -hmm. um, any crazy colors. So. Now, you do do some unique colors, though, as well, right? I, I think the last time we were talking, you have done the purples and the blues and stuff of that nature as well, right? Yes, absolutely. So if somebody is interested in those colors, that's an option. Yes, I've had a lot of that lately too. Um, rose gold, a lot of people are wanting to do like rosy colors and um, muted purples and it's a lot of different things. Um, it's not as taboo as it used to be to have crazy colored hair. Yes. <laughs> Unique colors, right? Right. And for them, do they stay in as long as traditional other colors? No, no. Just... They're a lot more maintenance. Um, you have to have good products and good um, knowledge on how to take care of how to take care of it. Rinse with cold water every time you shampoo your hair, and um, and it needs to be touched up probably every four to six weeks, depending on what the color is. Okay. So you can get that all done here. Yeah. Okay. So how often do you get your hair done? I usually do mine about every around five, six weeks, something like that. Okay. Because uh, it, uh, it's got a lot of gray in it. That's the reason <laughs> it got started color, and to be honest. <laughs> It looks uh, wonderful. And it was a lot darker. She knows my son, his hair, how dark. Uh, that's yeah. the way it used to be, it was like his, except when the gray his started. His is black. His is a little darker than mine, but it's pretty similar. And when mine started to get gray, uh, you had to do it so much more often. So that's when my person said, well, let's try the blonde highlights and you won't, it, it will it won't not show, as, show much. as much gray. And she was totally right. That's that's <laughs> the reason there's a, the, the blonde streaks in it now to hide the gray for people like me that are more senior that have that gray. <laughs> yes, it definitely starts to, it blends everything out. Yes. <laughs> It's not just senior. I have gray hair yeah. already. Well, I actually <laughs> started with gray hair when I was in third grade. Streaks up, just one or two hairs here and there. But it it's still not totally, I mean, it's still got a lot of dark in it. It yeah. just has gray, yeah. too. But salt and pepper. Yes. Right. It's a good luck on some. <laughs> and I actually had thought about just letting it go back natural, but... Uh, it's the grow-out process that's hard. Uh, well, it's the grow-out <laughs> part that's in the kit. Well, my daughter, she says, well, it's going to make you look old, Mom. <laughs> so I kind of kept doing it. Okay, so how are we doing, Jessica? Well, we just finished up putting the foils in, and so now we wait. We wait for her to process. Okay, and the processing takes? About 25 minutes. Okay. 25 minutes, I'll check her throughout that time and make sure that everything looks like it's processing okay. And that will be our coloring, right, for the processing, and then we're going to... Uh, rinse her I'll and rinse her and shampoo her and bring her back to the chair and then we'll trim her up and just style her hair. Fantastic. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Anxious to see what... Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. <laughs>